guys, welcome to the day five of Kim Grand Tennis Academy Online Lessons. Thank you for joining us today and we're going to work on some power and strength today as well as we're going to touch on what is 180 movement, what is happy zone and we will get into there but you just got to stay with us. Okay, so for those we will need four markers and water bottles to drink some water and a tennis racket, tennis shoes. And remember, we're doing it together. Copy me and listen to the coach. So I'm Coach Elvira. And I'm Rina. And let's do it. We're going to start with the warm up as always. And I Ooh. hope you already warmed up because I was talking about this every single lesson. Oh, and yeah. ready and go. Here we go. And we're going to run on the same spot for 30 seconds. And here we go. Keep going. Keep going. Nice, soft shoes. Bring your knees up high. You can make it as challenging as you want. You can make some butt kicks or high knees, whatever you want. Just make sure that you warm up your body and just keep going, don't stop. We've got five more seconds. Let's go, let's go. I'm feeling pumped up today. I don't know why. Here we go. And we're going and done. Okay, next one is gonna be a monkey jump. You're gonna bring your right knee up to the right elbow and your left knee up to the left one and just keep going at the same time and let's go here we go like a little clown and keep going 15 more seconds come on come on come on come on come on i know it's hard but nobody no one said it's gonna be easy nope. here we go and done Woo. okay you're gonna bring your legs a little bit wider than Shoulder apart, maybe twice shoulder width. And you're gonna go to the left foot, to the center, to the right foot. Center, left foot, center, right foot. Make sure that your uh, legs are not completely hyperextended. They're a little bit bent. Here we go, but you still need to feel the stretch in your hamstrings. You know your body, so control it. Here we go, last one. And stay in the same Ooh. position. We're going to do the reach down and reach up the sky. Reach down and reach up the sky. So make sure that you're stretching that spine and you reach as high as possible. And keep going. Do it slowly. You don't want to get dizzy. So now rush at this one. We will do some cardio later. Here we go. Okay, last one and Ooh. good okay so we prepared a drill for you for the warm-up it's called the start star fast feet so from so i'm standing on the line and then i'm gonna bring my legs opposite way from each other and then left one in front right one in the back so like a star and we're gonna go for 30 seconds in three two one go always come back to your split step position split step and forward and change it. So make sure that your body is always staying still, upper body, and your lower body is moving, your hips are rotating. Keep it safe and stable, and don't shrug your shoulders. Make sure that your, your head is relaxed as well. Here we go, and three, two, one, good job. Woo. Okay. Let's do some calls today. You're gonna go, you're gonna just do the, go on your tippy toes and go down. Go on tippy toes, go down. So your legs are staying straight and you just doing some plantar flexion. Here we go. And up and down and up and down. Okay, try to keep your body stable and go you can do like rina does and bring your toes up after your heels are on the ground or you can do just up and down okay last couple five minutes here we go oh sorry seconds here we go and done okay beautiful okay let's stretch out those ankles and those calves so stay on the outside side of your sole of your shoes Make sure that you're not wobbly because you can roll your ankle. That's not what we're trying to do. You can hold on to someone. 
right or in something and or you do, if you're good at balancing go for it and just find that good balance and five more seconds here we go oh good job yes and we're gonna do the reach forward stretch here we go so and you're gonna stand in the double width double shoulder shoulder width and your spine your back is straight your core is involved and you reach as far as possible so we are we did we just did a lot of stretching for our hips a lot of hip movements we will actually focus a lot on those in our tennis part so that's where we are doing that it's gonna be a lot of rotations okay so it's a fitness time yeah i hope you're excited get your sip of water always stay hydrated you don't need anything for fitness so you just need yourself and your enthusiasm okay so we are gonna start in 10 seconds and we are gonna start with vertical jumps so get into the squat position jump up squat position jump up squat position jump up and we're gonna start in three two one go okay Rina does it at first advanced version and you can do it too for sure when you after the jump you reach over and touch the ground and you don't want to slack off and round your back and just kind of lean over you want to actually get into full squat position and bend your knees so you could touch the ground you didn't and five more seconds here we go three two one done Ooh, yes okay that one is a fun one i think you will like it it's a little bit of a plank but it's not our usual plank it's a little bit modification so if you will bring it's a from the plank position you're gonna go up and down and then you're gonna walk up to the mountain to the downward dog position and then walk out okay or you can do the arms if we've got five more seconds to rest and go here we go okay get into that mountain position and walk up and walk down the thing here you don't want to deepen your back so your your back is not extended or flexed too much so it's not it doesn't look like a circle it doesn't go down like a c so you can mix it up and walk on your arms or walk on your shoes for three more seconds three two one done okay Woo! beautiful yeah. yes okay and this one is going to be the most exciting for you guys we are going to do the wall seats okay <laughs> try and find the wall or a pole or something stable or the fence we we don't have anything close enough to the camera so we're going to use each other and please try not to laugh we're going to start in five seconds and we're going to sit for 30 seconds ready and three two one go okay and use your parent if you can here we go keep going keep going you got it wow my legs are burning make sure that you create a square with your legs it's actually not square right now now it's a square and five more seconds i know it's hard <laughs> and you got it you got it five four three two one done yeah. we did it wow <laughs> that was a hard one actually usually it's not that hard when you're doing it against the wall okay and we are gonna do the tricep stand so it's gonna be focused on our upper body so watch what rina does she was sitting on the bum now she brought her hips up and she's standing on her arms and we're gonna start in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Okay, hips up and kick the leg out. And that's a really hard exercise because your core is involved, your back is involved. If you can push your hips up, go for it, but it's not a big deal. Just make sure that you keep it, keep it stable. So it's not going up and down. Again, triceps are stable. Make sure that your shoulders are not behind you, but they're under you. And three, two, one, did it. Oh, yes. Here we go. Good job. Okay. Ooh. That's your rest time. 
Get your sip of water. Okay, and get a sip of water. You've got one minute break. I know you had a lot of fun watching us doing those ball sets. And actually, you have to keep your back straight. It's pretty hard to do when you lean over with each other, but we will do our best next time. So stay with us. Okay, and we've got 30 more seconds to rest. Again, we're gonna go do the jumps. You can make it as advanced as you want. You can go all the way down and then up and touch the ground, or you can do just a regular squat as advanced as you want. Okay, and 10 more seconds. Vertical jumps. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Here we go. And jump up. Try to go as high as possible. You actually have to push, push the ground and Make sure that you're not leaning over and you're not touching the ground just by stretching your hamstrings. You actually need to get into the squat. Here we go. Keep going. 10 more seconds. You got it. Here we go. And done. Okay. Good job. Yes. Okay, we are playing. Okay. Ooh, my favorite. Oh, right. Rina's favorite. Where you can do both. Walk on your arms or walk up on your toes. Uh, we will start in 10 seconds. Here we go. There's a keep pushing. Okay. Again, mountain position. And go. Walk up, then walk down. Walk up and walk down. Okay, again, you can see Rina's back is not wobbly at all. Yes, she does use her hips over here. But she, her back is straight, she's involving her core and her shoulders are staying under her body. They're not going over. Okay, five more seconds. You got it. Stay with us. Stay with us. You're doing great. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes, did it. Okay, good job. Oh my God. That's a well <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. We can do it. <laughs> okay, we can do it. You can do it for sure. Go for it. Okay, we've got 20 more seconds. We'll try to get in that correct position. Okay, again, remember, straight back. Your legs are creating the square. You can add some weight to it. If you have a medicine bowl or some, you know, some water bottles, go for it. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Okay. And, oh, this time it's much easier because we're doing it perfectly. Our backs are straight, our legs are creating a perfect square. Okay, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. 10 more seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh Good job. Yes, we did it. You did it too. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna polish it with our tricep stance. Okay, get into the reverse push up position. Bring your hips up. We're gonna start in five seconds. And three, two, one, go. Okay, kick that leg. Make sure that you're kicking it and it's straight so it's not some letter P or I don't know. Uh, here we go. Again, make sure that your toes are looking up in the sky. No ballerina toes this today. Here we go. Hips are stable. Back is straight. Your shoulders under your cell, under, under the shoulder joint, not out of it. Come on, come on. And done. Oh, yes. Did it. Bonus okay, bonus time. Ooh. Okay, Rina introduced me to this exercise Woo. and that's a good one. Okay, you got to be ready for it. Okay, it's gonna call it's called lounge with the pop So you're gonna get into the lounge position and you're gonna pop up and you're gonna do 15 seconds on one leg 15 leg seconds on another leg involve your arms and three two one go so lunge and pop lunge and pop, involve your arms and keep your balance so it's not only strength, it's also a balance exercise. 
Make sure that your legs are not in one line because that way you will fall over. And switch legs. Here we go. Doing great. Yes. Woo. Involve your arms, core and bold. Your facial expressions are not like you're trying to bite someone or yourself. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one, done. Ooh, yes. yes. Good job on the fitness. Okay. You've got your Feel minute it. of rest, a little bit more than minute actually, because we're gonna move our camera. We're gonna talk about uh, the uh, 180 kind of step, sort of step and we will get it deeper into that. So Ooh. see you in a sec. Good job. Here we go. Okay, guys, we are back. And as we said, we're gonna talk about some 180 steps. You see the circle over here, it's called happy zone. Some a little bit of terminology over here. So the happy zone is when you hit the ball and the ball is within in two, three steps from you, far from you. So remember we did right, right, right and left, left, right, left, as well as angular steps, right? Uh, those are happening within the happy zone. And those shots that we did day three, the break steps, those are when you are running for the very, very wide shot, you do the break step outside of the happy zone, and those areas are called wings. So really it's in the wing right now. All areas that are outside of the happy zone are called wings. So she's in the wing, now she's in the happy zone. Okay, so what happens when the ball goes right at you? Either it's really short or it's right at you, but it's really deep. So that way you will have to go around the ball a little bit and then bring your whole body around. So we're gonna talk about forehand right now, only not to spread out our attention too much. Okay, sweet step, sad step. And you gotta be, you gotta bring your left step really in front at the set step. But then you, you gotta bring your right hip around all the way, 180. So look again. So you start your weight, you shift your weight from the right hip onto the right, and you bring it from all the way in the back, all the way in front. Okay, let's try again. So split step, set, and bring it over. So you do complete turn and all, oh, and your shoulder, and you keep doing this turn. And then you push with, the leg, with that leg back. Okay, and now we're gonna turn learn about how to do back foot, to go backwards. Okay, split step, and you gotta set on the back foot, and you gotta bring your left one around after that. And you gotta bring your hip up. So it's all about bringing your right shoulder forward. So when you go forward, you bring your shoulder forward by bringing your right leg forward. But when you go backwards, you bring your right shoulder forward by bringing your left leg backwards. Okay, we're gonna do the drill. Where are you gonna go? Forward, backwards. Forward, backwards. And we're gonna start in five seconds. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, remember that the ball is right at you, so you gotta set a little bit away from it. So you gotta set and make sure that you're making a full rotation and you go up and down. You gotta push up. As you go back, you push up with your left leg and you land very softly. Okay, bring your full, your right shoulder all the way around. And five more seconds. Here we go. And remember to break step when you go forward and done. Okay, and backwards too. Here we go. Okay, good job. Woo. Good job. Okay. We're gonna do this second time. I'm gonna talk over it again, so you could remember. I know we're doing repetitive things many times, and I'm saying the same thing again and again, but again, muscle memory, brain muscle chain, we're working on those things. Okay, we've got five more seconds left. Again, forward, backwards, nothing fancy. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Sweet step, set, bring that right one around. And remember we talked about shock absorbers, right? So you gotta go up and down with the ball. Down and up with the ball. And bring that right hip around. And again, and left one goes backwards all the way. And you gotta break your motion. So Rina does it a little bit in the slow motion. When you're playing a point, everything is happening much faster. Okay, three more seconds. And done. Beautiful, yes, good job. Okay, let's talk about backhand right now. 
So with the back bend, same thing. When you go forward, oh, sorry. When you go forward, you set step and shift your weight. You just don't need to bring your left leg that far in front. You finish a little bit on the side, like an angular, um, 45 degrees. Okay. And again, it's all about weight shift. So let's see again. Break, uh, split step, set step, shift your weight, break step, and now she pushes with that leg back. Okay, what about backwards? So, split step, turn, set step, and again, I want to point your attention to how her hip is going all the way up, and then she let, uh, softly landed on the, on the ground. Okay, we're gonna start in 10 seconds, going up forward and backwards, alternating the direction. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, split step forward, not too far, don't bring it all completely, 180, but this time when you go backwards, you have enough room, so you can go backwards all the way, 180. Again, soft, little, soft landing, and again, timing loop. I'm not talking about that, that should happen automatically already. While you're moving forward, your racket goes backward, backwards at the same time. Beautiful, okay, and three, two, one, good job. Woo. Okay, yes. Ooh. So this is happening in a happy zone as well. So we learned our right, right, right. We learned our angulars. We are learning 180s and the wings. We learned that. So we covered a lot of stuff in the last couple lessons. Okay, we've got 10 more seconds. Woo. Okay, catch your breath, take a sip of water. Again, it's not a cardio exercise. It's for the muscle memory, so. Take your time and go. Split step, soft landing, shock absorbers. You're going up and down with the ball. So all those hip movements that she does right now, she's actually following the ball. So the ball goes, bounces, goes up, and she goes up with the ball. Again, ball bounces and she goes up with the ball. And harder you push the ground, the ground pushes you harder back. Okay, eight more seconds. Keep going, rotate those hips. Here we go, you got it, you got it. Stay with us, done. Yes, beautiful. Again, your upper body moves as your lower body moves as well. So they're not separated. Okay, so we moved the camera again so you could see us sideways. And we're gonna do this drill again, only forehand for now. And we're gonna talk about the main points, but you're gonna see them sideways. Okay, we're gonna go in three, two, one, go. Forward. And I want to emphasize that you gotta load your back foot. Rina is gonna do it much slower right now. Load on the back foot and then bring it over and load it again. And load on the back foot and bring it in front. Beautiful, okay, one more time. And load that leg. So right now she's loading her right leg. She's righty, so she's loading her right leg. And bring it over, yes. And last time, yes, and get one, good job. Okay, so, and. We are gonna do the uh, talk about back foot right now. So same thing, you gotta load the back foot. So we, her uh, back foot right now is gonna be her left leg. Okay, so we're gonna go in 20 seconds. Remember that you do not need to bring, when you go in front, you don't need to make a complete 180, only 45 degrees. Okay, good. And five, four, three, two, one, go. Uh, 45 degrees less. Here we go. And get back. And back foot, left one. And she finishes on her right one. And again, she loads her left one, brings it over. Loads her left one, brings it over. Okay, good. And 180, Coach Kim teaches it at this academy all the time. It's a very, very important shot that you can use in your attack when you go forward or in defense when you go backwards. And three, two, one, yes. Ooh, yeah. job. Awesome job. Ooh. Perfect. We're gonna finish with a mix up. So you're gonna go forehand, forward, forehand, backhand, back, uh, backwards, and then you're gonna switch to the backhand, and you're gonna go forward and then backwards. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you don't mix forehand and backhands together, you just switch. Ooh. Okay. We're gonna go in five seconds. Here we go. Stay with us, three, two, one, go. Forward, load the back foot, bring it all the way over. Remember of the shock absorbers and push off the, uh, that leg 
up in the sky. And so she pushes up in the sky and shifts her weight. So it's all about the shift weight. That way, that way she uses way less energy than just pushing the ball. Eight more seconds. Here we go. Okay. And three, two, one, done. Ooh, yes. Good job. Good job. Woo. Okay. Okay. Again, it's a lot of stuff to remember. We've been covering enormous amount of information just in a couple days. So again, go over it again and never hurts to level down. Uh, send us an email with a shooting of how you do it. We will help you, we'll be happy to help you, okay? So put your rackets down. We're gonna finish up with the stretch, sumo stretch, bring your legs far apart, not too much. And then get into the squat and push with your arms on those knees. So you can push with your elbows or you can push with the arms. And when you're pushing with the arms, you can include some shoulder stretch with bringing the right shoulder down to the center. Okay, let's switch another arm or you can stay in the same position. Okay, good. And three, two, one, good job. Okay, lunge, bring that right one in front of you. Good. And when your right leg is in front of you, bring your right arm on the inside side of your shoe and bring your left arm up and stretch out your hip flexors of the left arm, of the left leg and your left shoulder. Okay, let's switch. As always, I'm gonna, I'm saying the uh, 20 seconds, 15 seconds, not enough. You gotta spend way more time on the stretching. So, okay, left one is in front, left arm is on the ground on the inside side, and your right arm is up, reaching the sky. And you can kind of bring it backwards a little bit to feel more stretching. It never should feel painful. Okay, good. Whew. Okay, we're gonna finish with reach forward. We did it earlier today, but we did a lot of hip movements today, so let's finish up with the same one. Okay, bring your our legs shoulder width and reach up forward. Again, your back is straight. Make sure that your legs are not hyper extended, but a little bit bent and reach, reach. And pulse a couple times. Bring your head down, relax your neck. Here we go. And involve your core. Good job. Okay. Well, yeah, that was a hard workout. A lot of food for your brain, a lot of food for your muscles. Mm -hmm. Stretch, drink, ice the areas that are sore. Uh, thank you, Rina, very much. That was a hard work today. Yes, thanks, Coach Elvira. We did a lot of strength exercises for arms and legs. We're gonna be so much stronger and we're also gonna save so much time with that amazing footwork that Coach Kim is teaching us. So keep it up. Yeah, I hope it was fun with us sitting in that seat wall. That was my memory for today. <laughs> and okay, let's just finish on this good note. Okay. BBB the exception. Be the exception.